با درود مجدد خدمت شما دانشجویان محترم محمد مهربی هستم مدرس این دوره و با آخرین قسمت از درس 11 هم در خدمتون هستم making an impression what kinds of cultural activities are available in your area and have you ever participated in any of them uh, maybe you need to think about these two questions and um, try to give me an answer what kinds of cultural activities are available in your area and Have you ever participated in any of them, like uh, in your city, maybe in your uh, province, or wherever? Okay, let's read the article and how does El Sistema benefit the young people? This is the question, okay? How does El Sistema, it's like uh, a cultural activity, benefit young people? Keep it in mind, before you read a factual piece, ask yourself questions like, what is it? Where is it? Who does it? Then you can uh, scan the text to see if you can find answers. All right? I want to read it for you first. Al Sistema. Venezuela has a revolutionary and inspiring music uh, education program which aims to improve the lives of disadvantaged children and their families. El Sistema, meaning the system, is a total immersion program that brings children together to play music every day. Preschool children sit on their mother's knees to sing, play rhythm games, or play with paper instruments that they can make themselves. At age five, children start to play a real instrument which is a thrilling experience for them as soon as the children are good enough they teach the younger ones they teach the younger ones the program is highly successful by high school students are tackling some of the most difficult pieces of classic mu uh, classical music however the program is demanding and participants need to be committed They practice after school every day and on weekends. There are now some 500 or so orchestra throughout the country, some of which uh, perform internationally. Many of the young musicians have even become professionals. El Sistema graduates include conductors of the Venice Opera and Los Angeles Philharmonic and uh, the Berlin Philharmonic's youngest player ever. According to British conductor Sir Simon Rattle, there is nothing more important in the world of music than what is happening in Venezuela. These young musicians must surely be motivating role models for other young people in their home country. However, music wasn't uh, the primary goal when the program began in 1975 with just 11 students in a garage. El Sistema's founder, Jose Antonio Ebru, uh, was interested in human development or social action through music. Ebru's slogan, I don't know what is this slogan because it is not English, guys. Uh, but the meaning is uh, play and struggle, describes his hope that learning and playing music together helps children overcome academic, uh, academic, social, and economics obstacles. If you put a violin in a child's hands, that child will uh, never hold a gun. I read it again. If you put a violin in a child's hands, that child will never hold a gun. He's quoted as saying, interestingly, 19% of the program's funding comes from social service agencies rather than cultural organizations. Since 1975, El Sistema has made an amazing difference in many lives and two million graduates have become skilled have become skilled musicians and according to Abru, 
They are resilient, flourishing citizens as well. More than 25 countries, including the United States, Austria and India, have since copied our system as groundbreaking model. And we have uh, four of uh, the meanings here, like to uh, total immersion means constant in uh, involvement in an activity. Number two, role model, someone that other people respect and copy, and groundbreaking, which is here, means completely new, a model, a type of program. Now I, I will give you time to read six people's comments about El Sistema here, number one, two, three, four, five, six. Are their impressions correct? Write yes or no and find evidence in the article to support your answer okay first you have to say yes or no i mean uh, are they right or are they wrong and then find evidence in the article to support your answer so the first comment says a program like that can't really work i mean they can't teach them to play advanced pieces number two the children must spend hours practicing Number three, Sir Simon Rattle must be really impressed with the program. Number four, some of the students may come from wealthy families and they must get a lot of, uh, number five, they must get a lot of their money from arts and music organizations. And number six, programs like that can't work in other countries though. All right, I need you to pause the video uh, read the text again, read the article again, and come back and let's do <coughs> number one to six together. Very good. Okay, uh, in part C, uh, number one, a program like that can't really work. I mean, they can't teach them to play advanced pieces. What do you think about this, guys? It's a big no because um, a program like that can't really work I mean they can't teach them no by high school students they are tackling some of the most difficult pieces of classical music let me find it here mm, we had it tackling uh -huh, here this is the evidence by high school, students are tackling some of the most difficult pieces of classical music. So, no. Number two. It says the children must spend hours practicing. It's a big yes. And uh, the evidence, they practice. Uh, let me find it here. It says demanding. Aha. Uh -huh. They practice every. Uh, they practice after school every day and on weekends. This is the evidence. Number three about say, uh, Sir Simon must be really impressed with the program. Of course he is. Yes. And the evidence, according to British conductor, where can I find it? Uh -huh. According to the British conductor Sir Simon Rattle, there's nothing more important in the world of music than what is happening in Venezuela. Okay, from here to here is the evidence. Number four, uh, some of the students may come from wealthy families. No. Uh, it says music program... Mm, which aims to improve the lives of the disadvantaged here mm -hmm. uh, lives of disadvantaged children and their families good and uh, number number five they must get a lot of their money from arts and music organization Number five is again a no. And the evidence is about 90% of programs funding 
comes from social service agencies rather than cultural uh, here 90 percent of uh, the program's funding comes from social service agencies rather than cultural organization okay and the last one number six it says programs like that can't work in other countries though <laughs> no right now um, right now more than 25 countries including the united states of america Austria and india have since copied our system as groundbreaking model see okay this is this part guys i hope you enjoy that let's go to the listening and speaking people making a difference what does it mean people making a difference or making a difference making a difference means doing something to help make the world a better place okay let's look at the people and the organizations they are involved with and can you guess what the organizations do like this Janine Janine kids saving rain forest What's your impression here? Can you guess what the organizations do? I mean, what this organization uh, does? What this organization does? The next one is ARN, Cambodian Living Arts. What do they do? And the last one, Ardina, the International Book Project. You can pause the video, try to answer to these three questions and try to guess what the organizations do. Okay, great. Let's go to the listening. We need to listen to three conversations about people and organizations above and write three things each organization does. And let's see if your guesses were correct. Let's listen and get back. Page 115. Lesson D. Making an impression. 2. Listening and speaking. People making a difference. B and C. Listen to three conversations about the people and the organizations above. 1. You know, I'm thinking of doing a volunteer vacation in Costa Rica. You are? Wow, that sounds exciting. Yeah. Anyway, there's this girl. She lives there and she started this organization. Yeah? Doing what? Well... I guess she was only nine at the time, and she and a friend started selling some of their artwork, and they decided to do something useful with the money. Wow. She must be pretty smart. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, they do all kinds of things, you know, to try and save the rainforest there. Really? So like what? Well, they plant trees, and they have an animal center for sick animals, and like a kid's camp and a library and everything. I see. So they teach kids about the rainforest and stuff. That must be fun. Yeah, I'm thinking I should email her and see if I can volunteer there. I mean, they might need help. Two. You know, I read this incredible book about Arnchorn Pond. About who? Arnchorn Pond. He has an amazing life story. He's from Cambodia originally, though he was raised in the U.S., and he founded this program for musicians in Cambodia. Really? So to do what? I mean, do they teach music, or...? Yeah, you see... He wanted to preserve traditional Cambodian music. That must be very rewarding. Yeah. Well, I guess he's passionate about music. You see, he's a flute player, too, and his family owned an opera company in Cambodia, so... I see. 
so his organization helps young Cambodians learn about their musical traditions. Yeah, and they organize concerts and things. It's a great book. You really should read it. I'm actually thinking of writing to him. You know, to ask him to come and give a talk at our high school. 3. I just read about a really interesting project on the Internet. It's an organization that sends books to people all around the world. I mean, there are letters from schools and communities from all over the world, you know, that have received books from the organization. And actually, it's a really cool thing. They get students here to work with communities overseas. So it's like a cultural exchange, too. That must be great, you know, to set up something like that. That's so useful. Oh, yeah. There's one girl, and she was like only 12 when she and her family came to the United States. And anyway, when she went back to visit Kosovo, where she's from, she realized they badly needed books. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, she started collecting books to send there. And she worked with the book project, and I guess when she was in high school, she managed to send 15,000 books to Kosovo. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. I guess anyone can help, you know, by collecting books or money. I guess they use the money to do things like build libraries, too. So, yeah. Actually, I'm thinking about starting to collect books in my neighborhood. Good. Let's get to saving the rainforest. Uh, they plant trees. Good. They have an animal center for sick animals. Animal center. And they have uh, kids camp and library kids camp and library okay let's go to Cambodian uh, living arts they preserve traditional Cambodian music preserve Cambodian music uh, Cambodian, sorry. Uh, the next one, they help young Cambodians learn about musical traditions. Musical traditions. And also the last one, they organize concerts. Concerts. Right. And the last one, International Book Project. Very good. They send books to people. Send books to people around the world. They, let me, uh-huh. The next one, uh, they get U.S. students to work with overseas communi uh, communities. Get students to works. To works. Sorry, to work. I say to works. To work with overseas communities. And uh, the last one, they build libraries good all right now i need you to listen again and try to answer to this question how does each student plan to get involved how does each student plan to get involved with the organization Page 115. Lesson D. Making an impression. 2. Listening and speaking. 
People Making a Difference, B and C. Listen to three conversations about the people and the organizations above. 1. You know, I'm thinking of doing a volunteer vacation in Costa Rica. You are? Wow, that sounds exciting. Yeah. Anyway, there's this girl. She lives there and she started this organization. Yeah? Doing what? Well, I guess she was only nine at the time, and she and a friend started selling some of their artwork, and they decided to do something useful with the money. Wow. She must be pretty smart. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, they do all kinds of things, you know, to try and save the rainforest there. Really? So like what? Well, they plant trees, and they have an animal center for sick animals, and like a kid's camp and a library and everything. I see. So they teach kids about the rainforest and stuff. That must be fun. Yeah, I'm thinking I should email her and see if I can volunteer there. I mean, they might need help. Two. You know, I read this incredible book about Arnchorn Pond. About who? Arnchorn Pond. He has an amazing life story. He's from Cambodia originally, though he was raised in the U.S., and he founded this program for musicians in Cambodia. Really? So to do what? I mean, do they teach music, or...? Yeah, you see... He wanted to preserve traditional Cambodian music. That must be very rewarding. Yeah. Well, I guess he's passionate about music. You see, he's a flute player, too, and his family owned an opera company in Cambodia, so... I see. So his organization helps young Cambodians learn about their musical traditions. Yeah, and they organize concerts and things. It's a great book. You really should read it. I'm actually thinking of writing to him. You know, to ask him to come and give a talk at our high school. 3. I just read about a really interesting project on the Internet. It's an organization that sends books to people all around the world. I mean, there are letters from schools and communities from all over the world, you know, that have received books from the organization. And actually, it's a really cool thing. They get students here to work with communities overseas. So it's like a cultural exchange, too. That must be great, you know, to set up something like that. That's so useful. Oh, yeah. There's one girl, and she was like only 12 when she and her family came to the United States. And anyway, when she went back to visit Kosovo, where she's from, she realized they badly needed books. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, she started collecting books to send there. And she worked with the book project. And I guess when she was in high school, she managed to send 15,000 books to Kosovo. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. I guess anyone can help, you know, by collecting books or money. I guess they use the money to do things like build libraries, too. So, yeah, actually, I'm thinking about starting to collect books in my neighborhood. Good. So, how does each student plan to get involved with the organization? So, in the first one, Kid Saving the Rainforest. Uh, they need to be volunteer, uh, volunteer. The Cambodian Living Arts uh, asking Arn Chorn Pan to give a talk at her school. Giving Arn Chorn Pan to give a talk at her school. And the last one, the International Book Project. Yeah, collecting books in his neighborhood collecting books in his neighborhood great let's go to the writing my impression is i need you to read two emails 
So we have two emails. The first one is from Cambodian Living Arts, um, Kids Saving the Rainforest. Circle the expressions in the email that show impressions, reactions, and opinions. Let's see. Uh, before we go there, let's read the help notes, impressions, reactions, and opinions. You, you can say it like, my impression is that it seems to me that I think, I believe, or I feel that in my opinion or in my view. Okay, guys, when you're writing something about your impression or your reactions or your opinions, you can use this uh, kind of like sentences, I mean, uh, clauses to start a sentence like, my impression is that it seems to me that I think, I believe, I feel that in my opinion or in my view. Let's see. Dear Arn Chornpan, I recently heard about your Cambodian Living Arts program. You must be very proud of the program. It seems to me that you have helped many young people appreciate uh, Cambodian music. And I believe that it is important to save the cultural traditional uh, traditions of the country. See, it seems to me that, and I believe that. Dear Jenin, I was interested to read about kids saving the rainforest and the work you do. My impression is that you are passionate about the project and that it has been successful. In my opinion, the rainforest is very valuable and I feel that I feel that we need to do everything we can to save it. Okay, guys, just keep it in mind while you're writing uh, and you are going to talk about your opinion. You want to give your opinion, impressions or reactions. You can use. It seems to me that I believe that my impression is that in my opinion, I feel that. All that you can read in the help note. You can use these things to give your opinion. All right. Now let's uh, let's write an email and uh, try to uh, say something about like Jenin, Arntorn, and Ardina. Uh, try to write emails to these guys, and if you like, you can send that email to me. I will correct it for you if it needs and I will send it back to you. Okay, guys, this is the end of Unit 11. I hope you get the best out of it and I will see you with the last units. Goodbye.